Lalibela is a small town in the mountains of Ethiopia, but it contains some of the most extraordinary buildings in the world. These churches were cut out of solid rock, cut down into the ground. They are just amazing. I'm going off on my own to be a tourist and see the amazing churches in Lalibela. These extraordinary buildings were carved out of solid rock during the reign of King Lalibela in the 12th and 13th centuries. Ethiopians have been Christians since about the 3rd century AD, and King Lalibela, apparently having spent some time in Jerusalem, wanted to recreate that holy city in his own land. Very beautiful. That's a beautiful cross. Yeah, perfect smiling. Yes, <laughs> beautiful. The hornbills sing an evening duet as the sun goes down over Bet Georgis, the best preserved of all the churches, dedicated to our old friend St. George, who you might have recognized behind the priest. <laughs> As well as nearly a dozen churches in Lalibela itself, there are many churches and monasteries in the surrounding hills, and we're going off to visit some now. The church of Yemrahana Christos was built inside a cave nearly a century before the ones in Lalibela. And then legendary, he, the king, he brought the material from Jerusalem seven times in a day. He flew with the spirit church. But the scholars suggest is um, the material is around here. It's not far from here. It seems that these devout kings were also missionaries, preaching Christianity all over the Middle East. King Yemrahana Christos, who built this church, is buried here, and so many pilgrims came to this holy place, wanting to die here as well that their bones are still kept in heaps at the back of the cave. So we'll see thousands of pilgrims at the back of the chest. The next day, I take a mule trip with my guide, Tedessa, up to another monastery, starting at dawn. This monastery was built at the top of the mountain so the monks and nuns could feel themselves closer to God. It's a steep climb to get up there. Beautiful. This lovely smiling nun is one of the few monks and nuns who still live there. There are only a couple of them. She looks much happier than most of the priests I've seen. Most of the priests come in from the villages because priests can be married in Ethiopia, though not if they want to be bishops. And how old is this painting? It's 700. It's St. George slaying the dragon. Yes, yeah. St. George. 